Jetindranath Banerjee, known as Niralamba Swami, born on 19th November 1877 in Chennai village in Burdwan, West Bengal, passed away on 5th September 1930 in Chennai village Burdwan in West Bengal. Niralamba Swami said, Know yourself. If you do not know yourself, then how can you know your country? <laughs> Jatindranath Banerjee was one of the two great internationalists and freedom fighters. Along with Aurobindo Ghosh, who dramatically rose to prominence between 1871 and 1910. Swami asked Jatindranath Banerjee to go to Haridwar, where he was established an ashram. At this place, Jatindranath began scaling great spiritual heights and finally attained knowledge of Brahman or God in his form without any attributes. Som Swami was very pleased with the spiritual success of Jatindranath Banerjee and so he was rechristened with the name of Srimad Niralamba Swami. But he became popular with the name of Niralamba Swami. Niralamba Swami now had many admirers and devotees from Punjab, Haryana and regions around Delhi. His name for spiritual knowledge and wisdom spread far and wide. After staying in Haridwar for some years, he developed a desire to establish an ashram at Channa village in West Bengal. He conveyed his request to his guru and was granted the permission to establish an ashram at his native village. Niralamba Swami said, Know yourself. If you do not know yourself, then how can you know your country? <laughs> this is my fight. The last 246 days, I'm telling, go back to your family tree. Go back to your family tree. Go back, create the joint family. And Niralamba Swami said in 1800s that know yourself, you know. If you do not know yourself, then how can you know your country? How come you fight for your country? How come you call yourself as an engine? This is very, very important. I wanted to tell the same thing again and again. Trying to go back, having the deep, intimate relationship. That's what Chidu Krishnamurti kept on telling. When one loses the deep, intimate relationship with the nature, then temples, masjid, and all the dirty things, and the political leaders who wanted to make you a nobody, dragging you into the city to make 2% rich countries, 98% wealth of the country, the rich to survive, the capitalists to survive, happens through you. And then the schools and colleges minting money in the name of education teaches the children nothing except going against your family tradition. They do not have any respect for the family. To, to not respect the father and mother, to make the father and mother like your friend, spit on them, loot them and make them a nobody, do not have time even to talk to them, sit with them, to love them. This is the education you get it from the most of the top quality education centers or even everywhere. Education has reached that pathetic situation. Hence my, my, my feeling is to tell you, go back to your family, go back to when you have a deep intimate relationship with your nature. Then family becomes strong, and family becomes strong, the joint family system is strong, and the joint family system is strong, the family tree is strong. The family tree is strong, you yourself is an empire, you yourself is a pyramid. And once you have a strong pyramid, who can touch your pyramid? Because in that pyramid, everything exists. You have learned, you have become a master, because the mastership didn't come from somebody else. The mastership came, does, did not come from paid uh, teachers. Mastership, mastership did not come from, from bookish knowledge. Mastership came from 800 years of thousand years of the history through pure love and the pure love can happen only through your own people, through your own relatives, the related relatives from your own family tree, in the family tree, in the family place where you learn yoga, karate, music, dance, where you wrestle day in and day out. Now what is happening when Niralamba Swami said, if you do not know martial arts, if every member in the country should learn martial arts, only then we can protect the country. And first to protect, you have to become very strong. To become very strong, you have to practice martial arts. No, no, no. I'm thinking the oldest Indian tradition of the wrestling. Every day my family tree will have the wrestling pit. And when you know to wrestle, nobody in the world can touch you. Nobody in the world, because wrestling is the best exercise to make your body very, very strong. No other art. Now the karate, borata, all these things is happening. No, no, no. No karate and borata and all. Stop all this nonsense. Stop, stop all this nonsense. Karate, borata and all. After, after you are stabilized with your wrestling, the 
the traditional India Indian wrestling bit where you are practice. You can see the wrestling is so powerful. When I was young, I, I was very much interested in wrestling, and I used to do the street wrestling, the street wrestling with my own ha tactics in the mud. And every day, every day, I used to wrestle with my friends. Yes, friends or uh, my relatives who it is wrestling. And when I, when I went to the martial art, the top martial art um, 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 practitioners or the national champions, very first fight, very first fight, I could catch them, throw them down. Throw them, very first fight, yes. The wrestling game, I, I didn't know what technique, what karate brought, uh, and I did not care. The wrestling gave you the strength and the power. That means what Niralimba Swami said is to know yourself. You have to be, make yourself very strong. To make yourself strong, from where else can you become strong unless you can, you can get that strength only from love. You cannot get a very good food by paying money in the restaurant. A food from the mother's house, from your own, own house is more powerful and it's strength because they know to make the food according to your, to your energy not to make you sick. Other people are trying to give you food, giving you a, a artificial taste materials so that you can go to the hospitals. They are the indirect disciples of hospitals. Niralamba Swami said, know yourself. If you do not know yourself, then how can you know your, your country? Today is the fifth day. Four days we are completed of a Diwali. Four days we have completed the world. Today is the fifth day of celebration. Celebration of what we did on the first day of our uh, solar, second day on the uh, rainwater harvesting, third day on the wind energy, fourth day. Yesterday was full of yoga, music, uh, dance, rangoli, um, mehendi, uh, what all you have done it, and the wrestling, or the martial art, what you call the wrestling to show that you are strong, and the Indian kabaddi. What all you have done today? We give off the certificates, we give off the uh, prizes. Prizes are allowed, not that you are first and second and third. No, no, no first, second. Nobody is first and second and third, but give off the prizes that you are the best. You create the best, beautiful structure right inside the family tree. And then the celebration goes of lighting the lamb because all these days, these days you were trying to learn how to light the lamb, the light of the victory, victory of Rama, victory of Krishna, victory of victory against comes or whatever the, your languages you use it. But today, the fifth day of celebration, the celebration will be lighting the, how to light the lamb. You have you have no right to light the lamb if you are not sweat. Very, very hard. If you are not stabilized your, your uh, Samskriti, and the Samskriti is this one, our, our own Samskriti. Our own Samskriti comes with our Carnatic music, Vindutan music and dance, our Vardhanatyam dance, then our yoga, pranayama, then doing karma yoga, keep doing work with the expecting results, then the deep, intimate relationship with the nature, the rainwater housing, Every uh, family tree has taught them and everybody has gone to the family tree celebration has understood what is rainwater and nobody will pay money to buy water. Rainwater, one year collect the rainwater, you can use it for three years. Nobody will pay a built electricity board. In fact, they'll sell the energy back to, uh, uh, to the electricity board. Everybody will have solar, the wind energy and the varieties of lead. Thy food be thy medicine, Hippocrates said. And um, in Japanese, they, they practice spring, summer, autumn. All the four seasons, they know what food to be made so that uh, the people doesn't fall sick, the family people doesn't fall sick. So we have a tradition of our food which is grown in our own land. We found out the family trees already taught this is the land which is growing this particular uh, food. And you eat only the traditional food. You enjoy the traditional food, the traditional love, the love relationship. Yes, beautiful. And then we all light together. They all light together in the family tree. Everybody light hundreds and thousands of bullock, that bullock, the certificates of bullock, of varieties of sweets and food and happiness. And when you go back next year, when you come back, you have already stabilized. Wherever you go, you know you have a pyramid. You have a pyramid for anything. You can make a call. And the family tree will decide this year your children go for MBBA, your children go for engineering. Your children taking different different so that if you have any problem make a call into that particular um, department 
and you get your works done beautiful when your family is very strong you know what Swami said when your family is strong if you want to get rid of the sufferings of your country then you have to become strong to make yourself strong you have to first acquire self-knowledge that is what we did in the last four days yesterday was full of our self-knowledge talking about jnana yoga about our bhagavad gita about our vedanta purana everything has been discussed Ramayana, self-knowledge makes human beings to cross difficult deserts and mountains. Nothing is impossible for a race possessing self. Nothing, impos- uh, nothing is impossible for a race possessing self-strength. You know, the family trees have self-strength. When you self-strength, when each pyramid, when India has got several, or this country has got several pyramids, which country can attack? Nobody dare ever attack us. We do not have to fear because each one is a strength. Nobody can overtake us. We are not slaves. One thousand years of slavery also, they couldn't convert us. They would convert only a small portion of the people into their small thinking. Go back to your family tree. Today, enjoy this fifth day of Diwali. Nerelamba Swami said, know yourself. If you do not know yourself, then how can you know your country? So strengthening your house is very, very important. Nirananda Swami said, if you want to get rid of the sufferings of your country, then you have to become strong to make yourself strong. You have to first acquire self-knowledge. Self-strength makes human beings to cross difficult deserts and mountains. Nothing is impossible for a race possessing self-strength. This is my 246. Small talks.